every man for himself. No police, no laws, no judges. And in the end, the strongest wins. But wait just a minute. What if the state enters the picture? If it's the only one to use violence, then it will ensure peace and security. That, at least, yeah. is what the philosopher Thomas Hobbes said in his book Leviathan back in the 17th century. Hobbes' Leviathan symbolised the power of the state. But this, Leviathan has often abused its power. <laughs> Rulers have oppressed their own people and used violence for personal gain. They've controlled administrations and police and imprisoned those who stood in their way. Oh, no. Government in the hands of the powerful, a combination that over the centuries has often led to oppression and death. The solution? Distribute the state's power. Lawmaking, governance, administration, the justice system. Every branch should operate independently and remain separate. That's the way it is in Germany, in the United States and in most other countries on Earth. But authority isn't just distributed at the highest levels. Regions, cities and municipalities can also hold part of the power. With regular democratic elections and limited terms of office, it's nearly impossible for any one person to monopolise power. After all, authority has been well distributed. If some still persist in attacking their neighbours, then they are tried by independent judges according to the law. Everyone else is protected from violence. <laughs>